Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Fat Boy Bows, and I'm finally back with another GTA 5 glitch video for you guys. Now, today's video, I'm going to be showing you along with my friend, uh, my cousin Ryan, how you can give the cars a friend to glitch on PS5. This is working right now. We've been doing it for a couple of days. We figured out how to do it, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. So, if you guys do not have one of these, unfortunately, it's not going to be able to work for you. But you, um, you will have a friend that can give you one of these, uh, eventually before you come over to PS5, then it will work. So what you're going to want to need is you're going to need a modded festival bus. And you're going to need to have it glitched inside of your office garage level 2. So once you have it, you guys will see I'll call my mechanic right here on my phone. I guys will show you that I do have it. In my office garage level two, so we'll go to office right, garage level two, out. and then we are going to you guys to see I have the festival bus. Back, so what we're going to do is I will show you here in just a second. I'm going to drive my festival bus back into my garage, and we're going to see this black screen. Now, once you see this black screen pop up, there's going to be an AFK guy that is on PS5 that is sitting to tighten up a job for you guys 24-7. And I will have his name up on the screen. All you got to do is type up his gamer tag, send him a friend request. He'll accept your friend request. And then you can join him like that. Or you can just have a friend come into the lobby with you and start up tightening up a job. So you guys are going to see right here. I'm going to go ahead and drive the festival bus into the garage we're going to select office garage 2 and what you're going to do is you're you're going to wait right here until your screen turns black you guys will see once your screen turns black you're going to go ahead and join your friend in tight of a job just like this you're going to join him you guys can see it's getting the GTA online session detail. And you're just going to accept every single one of these alerts. Just like that. So once you come back in like this, you're going to be you're going to be inside your festival bus. So all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to jump out. Just like this. And you guys can see you will you will have your weapon wheel, but when you select a weapon, you will no longer be able to to like pull it out or anything. That's how you know the glitch is starting to work for you guys. So now we're going to get on to the second part of the glitch. Basically I'm going to have to drive over to my facility which is in Polito Bay. Uh, so I will get there. When I get there I will show you guys uh, what is left to do. So I am going to cut the video right here until I get over to the facility. And then once I get over to the facility I will come back to you guys. Alright guys, as you guys can see, I am over here at the Polito Bay facility. If you have one closer to in the city, you can. This is just the way where our, our, ours is at. So, I am going to, for his sake, uh, because you guys can see I am broke and I cannot pay my mechanic. Don't make fun of me. Uh, he is going to be getting an oppressor from me, just so I can show you guys this. So basically, what you're going to have to do, and I will show you from my perspective as well, when I get a car from him. But I just wanted to show you this part. So another part that you're going to have to have. You're going to have to have a phantom wedge to do this part. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tell my cousin to go ahead and do his part. So basically what he's going to do, he is going to go over there and park on the circle. Which I will show you guys in the future of how to do that without actually going in. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to flip him over to where his car is on the roof. So you're going to take your Phantom Wedge and you're going to flip it over. Just like that. Okay, Ryan, you're on your roof. Go ahead. So you guys are going to see here. Just give it a second. And I will explain that part right there on my side of the video. I just wanted to show you what you have to do in order to get it. So you guys can see that he I flipped him over. He killed himself. And I will show you what further to do here in just a second. So you guys can see he is going to come over here. Once he respawns, unfortunately he is invisible for me because we are both glitched out. 
he's going to be able to come over here and get on my oppressor. You guys will see here in a second. Sometimes it may spawn you in pretty good ways. I'm not going to cut any of the video right here, man. I'm just going to wait for him to come over here and get on the oppressor. You guys can see he's on my oppressor. And the, the one thing that you need to make sure your facility is filled all the way up with vehicles. You guys can see he took my oppressor and drove it right into this facility. You guys are going to see here in just a second. I'll know when he gets it because it'll quit flashing and it'll respawn right over here. Give me just a second. You guys can see my oppressor is right there. So all you're going to do now is you're going to go ahead and return it to your storage. And then it's going to be my turn. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video right here. I've got to go up the hill uh, because I'm glitched. You can't run very fast. I'm going to go up the hill and grab a NPC car and then I'm going to come back. Alright guys, I'm back. You guys can see I'm still in the same session. He's Phantom with. We have not moved everything. He is still there. You guys can see he is going to be now in the Phantom Wedge. Okay, so we're going to have him back up a little bit. The way I can go into the circle. So what you guys are going to want to do, you guys can see where the orange circle is. Orange, yellow. I'm colorblind. I'm sorry, guys. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull up your interaction menu. You guys are going to see that is where the circle is going to disappear. So you're going to drive up and you're going to hover right over the circle. And then you're going to hit circle on uh, PlayStation 5 or you're going to hit B on X on the Xbox. So you're going to hit circle just like this and you're going to have this screen pull up. So this is what I'm now going to tell him to flip me over. So Ryan, if you would, go ahead and flip me over and let me know when I'm on the roof. Alright guys, so you guys heard him honk. That is letting him know, letting me know that I am on my roof. So what you're going to do now is you're going to hit X. And as soon as you hit X, you're going to hit triangle to get out of the car. So you're going to hit X, triangle. Then you're going to go to your X menu and kill yourself. Just like that. Once you kill yourself, you're officially going to be able to get glitched out again. And you guys can see he's going to call me out of car. Since we were using his phantom wedge, he's going to go ahead and call me out a car. Okay, Ryan, I'm literally right behind you. I'm over here on the road. So I'm going to be waiting for him. You guys can see I'm still glitched out. My weapon wheel, I still cannot get any weapons. And nothing like that. So we're just going to wait for him to call me a car out. doesn't matter what kind of car it is. Okay, so right here we got the Hustler. There's a Hustler right here. We're going to go ahead and get in his Hustler. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drive it straight in to your facility just like this. You guys can see your vehicle must be removed from your facility. You're going to hit OK. And make sure your facility is stocked up, guys. Remember, your facility must be stocked up or this will not work. So, you guys can see, we're going to go loading into the facility. And I'll show you what to do from there, guys. So, once you load into the facility, you should be out of your car. You should be standing up just like this. And when, once you do that, all you're going to do is you're going to replace it. You guys can see we have been trading cars here. You're just going to replace it with an LG or whatever car you got in there. And you guys can see I have the car right there. Now, do not get in the car and drive it out. The only way to save the car is what you need to do is you need to find a new session. And then wait a couple of seconds, about 20 seconds, and then close app. And then the car saves to you now if you want to go and get another car all you have to do is go get another civilian car like i showed you and let him flip you over and then you have to hit the x and the triangle you have to do repeat that process so again and kill yourself and then you will be able to go ahead and grab another car from him but you have to repeat that process every single time in order to so all that i'm going to do right now i'm just going to exit the facility and uh, we're going to continue to trade cars here and um, just mess around, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, pr I apologize if it's, like, not good and not, like, you know, straight to the forward point. I'm 
you know, I'm just trying to do my best and help people out, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell for notifications for when I upload you guys some missed videos. This is your boy, Fat Boy Boys. I'm out of here. Peace.